Happy Monday, everybody. So everyone's condemned the footage of the beating death of Tyree Nichols by five black cops, including even Barack Obama and Donald Trump. Finally, unity. It's the most they've been in agreement since deciding Stephen Colbert isn't funny. Hey. hey, hey. But I'm glad we're finally talking about black on black crime. Of course, though, it involves cops. You know the line, if it bleeds, it leads. It only works if it leads to the cops and maybe great white sharks. It helps that they're white. <laughs> but these five officers aren't. Can they still be racist? It's hard to say because they and the victims are black. And so it presents a quandary to the left who hates cops but doesn't want to put black criminals in jail. So what do you do next? Well, you erase race, but just this once. When will the brutality finally lead to some police reform from the ground up? Because clearly, it doesn't matter if it's a white policeman or a black policeman, it is a problem in the police, in the policing yeah. itself. So now, race doesn't matter. Well, what if it didn't matter before? And you just thought it did because that's all the damn media focused on. And now perhaps all this incident did was show you that by eliminating race as a variable and you see the real causes. That's got to be good, right? Well, hold on, because you still need your dose of racism. And now it's about who trained them. Translation, white people. That has to be it. I mean, hell, even Mike Tyson was trained by a white guy. So there's your in, race baiters. Someone else must have taught them how to behave this way. Systemic racism for the win. Van Jones writes on CNN, CNN's website that blacks aren't immune to anti-black messages. He blames self-hatred, which is bound to happen if you end up writing for CNN. <laughs> I'm sorry, Van. But he claims blacks are socialized into departments that view neighborhoods as war zones a place where rule books don't apply. So blacks are more apt to single out young black men for abuse. But the problem here is the phrase single out. Were there more choices in that neighborhood than black? Probably not. It's like bragging that you bought something for a buck at the dollar store. So if all these choices for the black cop is just black, then it's not race, just like it might have been not about race for a lot of those other cops. But while this latest crime tells you it's not about race, Van still says, hold on. Quote, it's hard to imagine five cops of any color beating a white person to death under similar circumstances. Well, you would have to imagine it because no one would cover it. <laughs> the fact is, we have just as many incidents of unarmed white guys getting killed. They just don't hype them up and release them like a movie over and over and over again. So if whites train blacks to hate other blacks so they'll beat on other blacks as opposed to other whites, well, if they can get blacks to call Larry Elder and Uncle Tom, I'd say yes. But the fact is, minority officers are just as likely to shoot a minority, and some data suggests more likely. And why? Well, they're in that neighborhood more frequently, more often, and on purpose. It's their job to be there. It's where more arrests are made and where more encounters, violent or otherwise, take place. But let's not let white racism off the hook either. It's what brings us everything from Kamala Harris to cringe Jean-Pierre. <laughs> white racism f refuses to judge blacks the way we judge whites. It's what G.W. Bush called the soft bigotry of low expectations. But I don't think there's anything soft about it. It's straight up racism hiding behind a mask of cowardice. It lowers standards everywhere and elevates people into undeserved positions, overlooking training, experience, better candidates. You make life less safe out of fairness. From crime-fighting units to the military, standards are lower to fill positions. Well, except for the NBA. <laughs> but if you made it more white, you'd be lowering the quality of play. We predicted that as police became more maligned and many retire, others will just leave for more lucrative private gigs. So who's going to take that job? Well, anyone that applies. They're less selective than when I was single. <laughs> so what if that Scorpion group, a newly formed police group that killed Mr. Nichols, were recruited on just merit alone? Would you have seen the same outcome? Who knows? Maybe. Perhaps of the five cops, there would have been different skill sets and temperaments and experience. You know, diversity where it counts and not just for show.
let's welcome tonight's guest. I dream about him reading me my Miranda rights. Former NYPD Inspector Paul Morrow. He's ruffled more feathers than my feather ruffling machine. <laughs> Best-selling author and Fox News contributor <laughs> Douglas Murray. I love that. This young man proves you don't need a sense of humor to be a comedian. <laughs> Host of Fox Across America, Jimmy Fela. Jimmy. And she loves giving back to her community all the stuff that she stole. Fox News <laughs> contributor, Cat Tip. So, Paul, I find this, uh, uh, there's so many elements to this story that if, you, if, if we've already ha we already assume it's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing that happened to right. that man. Right. But then you then you realize that the one variable that we've all been pushing in the media is not part of it. And then what happens? It becomes about training and why training? So then they could talk about systemic racism. Yeah, except for the fact that the chief of the entire department is herself black, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I think what happened here that we have to remember is that think about how rare an occurrence like this has to be because look at all the focus we have on it, right? Mm -hmm. And remember that the majority of police throughout the country have, are getting deployed with body cams, mm -hmm. right? So if this were to happen again someplace else with white people, to your point, mm -hmm. you'd see it. Yeah. We'd know about it because it's on body cam. The fact that these guys were cammed up and still felt free to do what they did tells me that there was a real lack of oversight. They were out there sort of on their own, an echo chamber of their own. They only see each other. They have the same days off, et cetera. And a, and a thing develops where they start to sort of pair away from the rest of the police department and it becomes its own thing. And the culture that developed was very bad. If you look afterwards, they left the body cams on, which is real trouble for them because it's all coming into the criminal case. Mm -hmm. They're fist bumping. They're, it's very celebratory, right? This is a cultural thing. It's not a race thing. Interesting. And it makes me think, I don't like to traffic and gossip. I'm above that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, see, you always start with the preamble. Did they know this guy? You know, I... These conspiracy theories always float around after something like this, and then yeah. it's like the Pelosi That's the Memphis. Thing. There's yeah, a lot of no, stuff in I Memphis know. about I'm this. Hearing it too. It's like the Pelosi thing, right? Yeah. You know, because the stuff doesn't come out, and then all of a sudden there's all these theories, and everybody buys them because it's sexy, it's fun, etc. I'm going with Occam's razor here, which is just a simple explanation is the right explanation, which is that these guys were a unit that... And think about the name of the unit. I mean, it was scorpion. kind of poison from the well, right? Yeah. What does a scorpion do? It stings and kills you. Yes. Right? I mean, there's units like this in New York, NYPD. They call it what it is, anti-crime. Yeah. You call it a scorpion unit, you're kind of sending a message. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you see what likely developed here. And, you know, as I said, I have a piece up on um, foxnews.com that dropped over the weekend that essentially said the net's going to get wider, and it's coming out now. There were seven cops suspended the mm. day of. Got five indicted, but it says more charges coming. So we're going to be living with this story for a while. Douglas, uh, you uh, come from a place called England, and they do have police there, I'm told. Yes. They're, they're, called, they're called Bobbies. They were called Bobbies about 200 years ago. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, now, did they, yeah. were they on horseback at the time? They're always on horseback. Obviously, yes. we don't have cars yet in England, of course. You uh, got cars now, though. We do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah, recently yeah. Okay. imported Excellent. them. Just trying to get the audience up to speed. Right, right. Okay. So, <laughs> when, when you're looking at this and you're from, I, I know it's hard as a as a Brit to talk about these things, but uh, what, what do you see in this? Well, I see. By the way, Britain picks up this stuff from America like that. I yeah. Mean, no seconds flat. Uh, British commentators have been saying this is all about white supremacy and uh, and white supremacy in the policing. They, they do the same shtick as they get from here. I, I mean, the, the problem is this is what happens when you have a very simplistic narrative and it's false. It breaks down. Right. It just breaks down. If your one narrative in recent years has been white supremacy and the police, and then you have five black cops killing a black guy, you've got to say still white supremacy. Yes. And, uh, you know, some people will go along with that, but not many, I reckon. I mean, uh, you know, there were 30 people shot in Chicago last weekend, mainly black people shot by other black people. Was that also white supremacy? I suppose we'll just have to pretend it was. Look at what the president said the other day, you know, the me meant to be the great uniter of this country. He says, once again, this is, you know, that I'm so tired of seeing, you know, so exhausted, he said, so exhausted black people are seeing, seeing people killed on camera. But as you say, I mean, uh, 
you, you could, if you wanted, pick this stuff out. You can find Tony Timper being killed online. Right. If you want to watch white people being beaten up it's by cops, you can find it. It's just we don't go on about it. Yeah. And I just hope that this is one more nail in the coffin for this idea that the main thing in America on everything is white supremacy. It's not true. It's always been a smear of this country. It's gone on for years. It got gas fueled in recent years. Mm -hmm. And this is really time to stop. The world is more complicated than this simplistic left-wing narrative. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> so, I want, I want uh, Douglas's wish to be true, but I know that's going to hurt your white supremacist newsletter <laughs> that, you, uh, that you put out in, the, in that little apartment above your garage. <laughs> It's an email. It's All an right, e yes, stick it's with an, me. No, no, no. You chose. You think that they're monitoring your email, so you just do the newsletter. <laughs> just do an old school snail mail. <laughs> yes. Uh, he's kidding, by the way. Some <laughs> people are like, "Where do I sign up?" You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it's crazy. Uh, but the whole narrative, this anti-cop narrative, is how we got here. We've been trashing cops, you know, since 2020, and it drove most qualified candidates away from the gig. You know, and that's the bigger issue here, is we demonize the noble profession. When I was in first grade, when you were in first grade, if you would have asked every kid in the class what they wanted to be when they grew up, half the boys would have said cop, half the boys would have said fireman. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, half the boys would have said girl, yeah. and the other half, <laughs> and the other half would have said drag queen. I mean, that's where we'd be. But this is and the there's end. nothing wrong nothing with Nothing wrong that. with it. Nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with it. at all. That's my other newsletter. Stick yes. with me. <laughs> but we drove the good people away from the job, and that's really the bigger problem, is when you lower recruitment standards, OK, you get less qualified people. Certain things you just don't want too cheap. You know what I mean? We all like that ad for $50 laser eye surgery till the cross-eyed doctor walks into the room. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where we are here. You just have to support the cops across the board. I would have been a cop if it weren't for this thing called the background check. But the point is, <laughs> we're fighting the wrong battles. That's all. Sorry. Well, Kat, you're, uh, you're very pro-police. Uh, <laughs> many of them know, have come to know you over the years. Uh, I was so worried we were talking about this topic. I was like, oh, what if we don't have a diverse panel to discuss this issue? <laughs> but then I was like, oh, thankfully, you invited the British guy. <laughs> <laughs> I ticked that box. Uh, yeah, look, I think that it's... I don't think it's good to you just say you support all cops across the board because... There's Good cops, yeah. are, right. There's people like this, yep. uh, which is why I think it's got to be accountability for the police. And uh, you just look at it in terms of accountability of anybody who's in government. It's the same exact thing. I mean, th this video, there was nothing controversial about it. I mean, I watched it. I cried. I was sick. I was just I was physically sick. I was disgusted. And I think anybody who watched it had the exact same reaction. And I think that like you mentioned, I read your piece, Paul. I thought it was great, talking about some of these special units. How do they recruit for these units? Because there have been problems with these kind of units in Detroit in the past years ago and in other instances. What makes you want to join a unit like this? Is it the lack of oversight that some, sometimes these units have? We need oversight um, so that things like this don't happen. All right. Fair enough. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.